Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Help Stock Market Technical Analysis Channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Nifty 10 years trend analysis. Most of the people think that every Monday market opens positive and every Friday market opens positive and some other days market goes down and we will see 10 years performance how nifty is performing continuously and this analysis will help you to understand the technique to analyze any other stocks or any other indexes we are going to apply small formulas and based on that you can do your own analysis before going to the topic, I request everyone, please subscribe to this channel so that you will get a lot of technical videos, a lot of techniques and also share it to your friends and your colleagues. It will be helpful for them to understand and improve their knowledge on stock market. And also, if you guys are interested to learn technical analysis, you, you guys can join my online classes. First of all, to do analysis with 10 years data, we need complete 10 years data, past performance of Nifty. So we will go ahead and download the data from Yahoo Finance. So you guys can see here, this is a Yahoo Finance home page. So here we will enter Nifty 50. This is a nifty 50. We will go to historical price. So uh, by default we will get from September uh, 17, 2007 to uh, 2016 December. Okay, this is a daily basis. So if you go down here we have a download to spreadsheet option. Just click on that. Uh, it is it will get downloaded. Okay, we'll open this into Excel. Uh, this is complete Excel sheet. If you go down, we have 2007 data. It's like a 2,310 days. Complete data is 2310 days. Okay, here we have top, we have 2016, and down we have uh, 2007. And uh, here uh, we have open and high, low, close, and volume, and adjusted close. We have uh, this is the price we need uh, for calculation purpose. Adjusted close price is required, and also get okay, to find out. Uh, whether okay uh, the day related to whether this is a monday or tuesday wednesday or friday all these days we have to find out so that only it will be easy for us to uh, find out the things so that i am going to insert here one more uh, uh, one more column uh, i got here so I, I will keep a small formula to find out days okay uh, just we have to keep equal to text open bracket select the cell comma start inverted commas d d d d d d we'll keep uh, how many days we want we can keep like you know seven to eight days just enter now uh, you can see here uh, this is like you know thursday if you go and check also, see we are getting complete, just we have to go and drag and drop. Okay, I will show you once again, just you have to select this formula. Okay, we will get here a plus symbol. Uh, you can drag down. Okay, after that, you can select some cells and you can double click on this plus button. Okay, so if you go down and see, uh, 2007, uh, ninth month and 17 
let me go and uh, check the calendar 2007 this is 2007 uh, 17 to check this okay we have here uh, monday and uh, we have somewhere here 20th uh, 20th uh, this is in the month of september september 20th we will go and see whether uh, that day is correct or not so that uh, we will be having very clear cut idea if you see here uh, this is a september month uh, we have here 19th we have 19th here if you see here uh, 19th it's a wednesday here uh, also Wednesday and we will see 21st 21st is Friday yes the data is matching so whatever we have calculated for the data whatever we have applied the formula is correct and it is giving exact result and this is days we can keep column as a days okay so uh, the adjusted price uh, we have to make sure this adjusted price uh, on the adjusted price we have to do the calculation okay here we have to give equal to current day price minus previous day price so it is 68 You can see the trend this is a trend okay how uh, nifty is like you know closing okay uh, on 29th nifty closed uh, 68 point plus and previous day it closed two points plus and previous to 27th uh, it closed 124 points plus and monday 26th closed uh, minus uh, 77 points okay uh, this is how the trend just you select okay two three columns and uh, go to plus symbol and double click it okay you will get complete trend okay if you see here it is a 4494 uh, since we don't have previous column okay if you keep here uh, just it will consider as a zero okay it will consider as a zero zero minus uh, this 4494 uh, it will come again uh, remain same value so we will delete this one value and we will go and see here okay you can filter it this one you guys can filter it okay you can see only five working days one two three four five five days okay if you want to friday's data just you can take friday's data and if you want only monday data we can go ahead and select monday data so now i will show you uh, something very important okay now we calculated the prices here uh, this is the trend yes we will consider this as a trend and this is the days okay these are all we have dates okay uh, now uh, the thing you know, we have to find out how the trend is following so now okay uh, we will go to insert and we will take this fiber table okay this will help us to uh, find out the range okay how the trend is following okay now uh, you can see here right side okay uh, right side we can see okay just uh, drag the days okay just drag the days into here okay click on the days and drag it to here okay you can see here uh, the impact okay all the days we can see here left side okay and the trend okay uh, we need trend uh, just drag and drop the trend okay here we have trend just drag the trend and drop it to values so here we have like you know this is the count so just uh, click on a uh, right click uh, value field settings and uh, it is like you know we need a sum just click on sum so here uh, you can see that every monday and tuesday wednesday and thursday and friday okay if you see this trend 
how the trend is following okay from past 10 years the trend is like you know every monday market is in uh, overall we are talking about overall market is uh, positive okay it's like you know 1000 points positive and here thursday you have three uh, thursday it's like overall uh, 10 years data thursdays uh, minus 360 it is showing and wednesday overall we have like you know very good positive number and market is moving in a positive trend and thursday uh, again uh, it's like you know big uh, minus number we have okay most of the time okay if you observe here in this thursday most of the time this fno contract because of fno contract impact i have observed a lot of i have done a lot of research on that and market is moving in negative trend and whenever uh, the fno is closing day um, we can see a lot of times uh, most of the uh, probable chances market goes negative because of settlements okay all these things so uh, we have to i advise people to avoid uh, on fno settlement days even other days also it is like you know giving minus symbol okay if you take fridays okay we have very good positive number here and uh, on an average market is moving in a positive way positive trend so this is about uh, 10 years data so we will go ahead and do okay uh, for 5 years data so we will take out filter and this is now we mixed everything here all Monday's data we mixed so here we have this is the 2006 so what we are going to do is we are going to delete the data is more than 2011 we want data from 2011 we don't want data from 2010 uh, we will do fast uh, five years data so we have to delete this last number because of uh, we are getting uh, wrong so it will give wrong signal so we will delete this uh, data and now we will see uh, just we have to go here and uh, just you can you can refresh it you can refresh it there is some blanks that's why blanks are coming just still you can see here uh, monday probable chances are very less okay the monday market is uh, like you know uh, less positive figure okay even though it is a positive very less positive figure but thursday it's a completely negative figure very less negative figure and wednesday we have very good positive trend okay in overall overall like you know five years data and Saturday again uh, as we discussed uh, maybe because of FNO and uh, other things market is in negative trend and Friday we have very good positive number 934.60 it's a very good positive figure okay, you can consider this uh, for uh, like you know uh, futures contracts all these things are very useful for the people who wanted to trade in a long term position and uh, like you know protection and the sentiments we can say uh, people sentiments are working here uh, in this trend so you guys can use uh, same formula okay for other stocks or any index okay if you want to do uh, trend analysis and I request everyone please subscribe to this channel and share it to the your friends so that it will be very easy for you to understand and uh, do technical analysis uh, okay before investing your hard money please learn something and execute uh, same way and invest your money and you can lead better life you can earn uh, good money and if anyone interested to join my online classes you guys always welcome to join my online classes you guys can uh, increase your knowledge and improve your skill uh, in terms of technical analysis uh, thank you all for watching this video